Alright, so today we're going to be unboxing the new Fire Stick 4K. This is Amazon's new streaming device. Uh, so let's get into it. So I believe this costs 30 bucks off of Amazon. Let's have a look at what we get in the box. Alright, so unboxing it now. We got our brown bag here, which is mm. kind of nice with a little. Alright, here's, here's the stick itself, which we'll get to that in a moment. Our quick start guide, our USB, which it is still using micro USB, which is kind of weird. The remote, which has even stupider ads on it. The brick, which we again will not be using. And button, those are our batteries. And then, yeah, so let's actually. So, this is the last gen remote. This is, I believe, this is just the standard 4K model from like two years ago. You get uh, Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus, and Hulu, which we all, which I have subscriptions for all of those. So with this remote, I can see that we already have the worst amount of ads that I would never use to save my life, but alright. So the packaging has actually been upgraded quite a fair bit, but here as you can see we have Prime Video, Netflix, DirecTV, and Peacock. Um, which is kind of strange, but okay. So now let's go ahead and just take off the plastic here. So here's the remote difference. They pretty much look the exact same, minus obviously the different amount of ads down there. Uh, so then have our stick here itself. So this is now rounded compared to it being just kind of boxy. Still with that micro USB for power. So let's go ahead and do some comparisons here. So let's put the batteries in the new remote. Just like that. And then let's compare it to the old stick. So the new one is rounded and is shorter and has the Fire TV logo on it, whereas the old one just had the Amazon logo on it. Get your same information on the back. And that's about it. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Take our new charger out. It's always best that you use an official Amazon charger. If the setup is changed now, I don't, I think the uh, this Fire Stick, which is the last gen, should still be getting a good amount of updates for a long time. 